So our first file, we're going to be creating a part file of just a piece of PVC pipe. So again, go to File, New, English, Part, Standard. Start sketch, just pick any of these, and we're back here with our axis. So we're going to use the dimensions from an actual piece of PVC pipe. So this, if I were looking at it from the top, I pull out my calipers and I measured this right here. Remember when you're measuring across the circle, that's called your diameter. The diameter goes all the way across. The radius just goes from the center out. So this inside one right here, the inside of our pipe, they call that the inner diameter. When it's the outside, they call that the outer diameter. So a lot of times you'll see abbreviations for ID and OD. That means the inner diameter and the outer diameter. So for this pipe, the ID, the inner diameter, we measured it out to 0 0.80 inches. The outer diameter, 1.05 inches. So we used calipers and took a pipe and actually measured that to get it very exact. So we're going to come over here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw these two circles right here. That 0.8 and 1.05. So in Inventor, I hit Start Sketch, I have my circle button. So up here you have your drawing tools, your lines, your circles, arc, rectangles, pretty straightforward right there. Uh, these buttons right here, Modify, we probably won't be using those too much right now. If you need to copy something and make a pattern, you've got these. And this Dimension button we'll be using a lot, so I'll cover that one later. But first, we're going to draw a circle. So I'm just going to click my circle right here. If you're ever not sure what a button does, if you just leave your mouse over it, a little screen will pop up, and it will tell you what that tool is and how to use it. So I hit circle. Come over here to my origin, where you see that little yellow circle on my cursor. It turns green. That means I'm right on that spot. I'm just going to click and let go. I'm not holding down the mouse. You see I can try to get my measurement right there in that little blue screen in the middle. And I want 0 .80. So I can sit here and try to get it close. But what's better is if it's highlighted blue like that, I can just hit on my keyboard 0 .80. Hit enter. I don't have to type inches. It knows that it's in inches. All right. So my other one is 1.05. So I'm going to come back. All right, again, I'm just going to click. Don't hold it down. Come over here, 1.05. So now I have my two circles, my inner diameter, 0.8, my outer diameter, 1.05. So now I want to take this, and this is a two-dimensional object, so it's perfectly flat, and I want to make it three-dimensional. So I hit Finish Sketch. After I do my drawings, I hit Finish Sketch. And you'll see it just kind of brought it in at an angle. To make it three-dimensional, I use this Extrude button. What this is going to do is it's going to just take this shape and it's just going to stretch it up into three dimensions. So I'm going to click Extrude. I want to click what I want to extrude. So I'm going to come in here in the middle, and you see how it kind of changes colors. I want to click that. It's just going to default probably to one inch, and I want to make this however long I need a piece of pipe. So let's call this, let's say I need a five inch piece. I'm just going to type in five, hit enter. So now it went up, so I can zoom out to see it all. On my mouse, I can use my scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If I use the scroll wheel, if I click it like a button and hold it down, I can drag around. If I click and hold it like a button and press the shift key on my keyboard, then I can move it around in three dimensions like this. This is called orbiting. So I can bring it around. You'll notice up here also, 
this little cube moves around when I do that. So this is a little view cube. If I want to look at the front, I can just click on front. If I want to rotate, I want to look at it from the angle, from the top, I get different views right there. I also have the hand tool, this pans around, the orbit tool, orbits again. And if I'm completely lost, say I'm, I have no idea where my piece is, if I hit the zoom all button, it's going to bring my piece right back to the middle. So here's our 5 inch piece of PVC pipe. What we want to do is we want to save this. So we're going to go to File, Save As, go to your H drive. So remember this PC, your ID number, and let's just call this PVC pipe, and let's say it's 5 inches because we're going to need several of these. And I hit Save. So now I have a 5 inch piece of PVC pipe. If I want to change the length, say now I need one that is 2 inches or let's say 2.75, so 2 and 3 quarters inches. If I come over here to my extrusion, if I right click, and I go to edit feature, this will bring that extrusion piece back up. So I want to change the length of this. So again I can use the arrow and get close, or I can type in right here, say I want it to be 2.75, I hit enter. So now this piece is 2.75 inches. So if I go to File, Save As, I can say 275. Notice I did not put a point right there when I named that. If you put another period in the file name, it might mess it up. So it's a good idea to not put period or much punctuation in your file name. So I just put 275 because I know when I look at that, that's going to be 2 and 3 quarter inches. So I hit Save. So now I have two separate pieces.